continue our run with death metal and into the new new era of justice league aka titans aka a titan justice league dark and everything that only has one person that's in the justice league but other than that they retconned cyborg to be a teen titan and yay so let's see our our camaraderie of groups is a justice league dark chimp detective chimp uh, our other one is a retcon former founder of the justice league to becoming a a titan cyborg nightwing who started off as a teen Titan, as a rob as robin and was then a teen titan and a nightwing and then lost his memories and became rick grayson and for like about a year or two then went back to being nightwing recently thanks to joker war or collateral damage starfire who was retconned from being being a tight from being a titan to a new agent to a new outlaw to an outlaw which no one wants to remember and then back to being a titan we got hawk girl who is actually a justice leaguer and we got justice league arch nemesis lex Luthor. so yeah weird camaraderie and this is a variant homaging to the new 52 justice league boo Ooh. i mean cyborg is still in position okay this is once again a tying to death metal that will impact the big finale and serves as a as a Justice League issue that is titled Doom Metal, which is well part what three. So uh, let's dig right into it. We got we got issue here, and we're gonna dig right into this. This Justice League issue fifty five, Joshua Williamson, on on the high seas of hell. Ah, so we're on the highway to hell. Highway to hell. Highway to... Highway to hell. Except we were going to replace it with the C. So, uh, Martian Manhunter is being opening up this issue by being horrendously tortured. Or by the Mind Hunter. That's right, John. Let me in. And John, give me your telepathic connection to the Justice League, and this can all be over. All I want is the, their plans for the darkest night. You don't have to worry about anyone ever knowing you helped me. Ah, uh, yes, uh, your ultimate plan, and even though the darkest night would all... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, this is the problem I have with the Mindhunter. Shouldn't he already know that the darkest night plotted this? Because really, they're really thinking about this from one perspective. So I don't know how he found out about the band who last transformed into the Darkest Night. They, I don't know if they anyone knew. Because if they knew, that means they had to have known he killed all of his followers. So that means the Mind Hunter should be like, "Wait, he just killed all his followers. Maybe I'm next." And then there's the other option where you're thinking, "Wait, but if he knows he's the Darkest Night and..." He's Batman. He could have figured out by now. Oh wait, he has that naked blue guy's dongling mind uh, temporal powers, where he can see everything essentially, and therefore he already knows what the plan is. So he's just he just is a, a moron. So yeah. So anyways, the Justice Leaguers are in their minds, battling their their alternate cells of the messed up continuity. Such as Cyborg, Starfire, your or Hawkgirl battling horrendous versions of themselves with Detective Chimp doing nothing. And he's more like guiding towards him. And while Nightwing and Lex Luthor try to, you know, run the fuck away, the Scooby and Shaggy method, it's saying this. At first the stars were giving me ver visions of what they thought I wanted, but they attacked me the moment I rejected them, Lex. If only you had listened to me, Nightwing. I could have guided you around the Valley of Stardo, oh, but instead you went through it, and now your team aims to kill you. How are we un unaffected? Years before we landed in this hellhole, I toyed with Stardo's mind control, built up a tolerance. What about me? Meanwhile, Starfire battles with her spine in unnatural natural roll state. My sister and I moved beyond fighting each other. Why do you pretend to be her? her. Whereas then Lex Luthor just states this, this. Your mind must not be fully rebuilt. Your fragmented memory gave you an escape. Ah, so KGB shot him and somehow gave him resistance powers. Um, 
Okay, that, that's it. Continuity is used again. I thought we broke time. So, uh, meanwhile, the other people are talking. As the visions are continuing to go ahead as they battle, old Detective Chim says, It's good to see you old again, old friend. And even though I know you're an imposter, I know you're my old friend. But how is Storo doing this? I don't see his drones attached anywhere on them. Even the small ones latch onto your face or neck. I'm done fighting with you. Done fighting, Father. You and everything, anything else. Else smaller. Huh? John and I have a mental connection. And so I knew you weren't him. It's in the air. We're breathing them in. Yeah, it turns out that all the Storos are Starro particles. Yeah. Um, that's a neat new trick. In fact, that actually raises the question: Why didn't he? Use, why didn't Starro of any reality use this? Like, so essentially, Starro has now the ability to release poor air particle versions of his children, and yet we're not given an answer as to why was this never brought up before. Anyways, um, <laughs> Lex Luthor charges at Cyborg where he yells out to Nightwing, Nightwing, help me with Cyborg. Or, Did you do enough when you turned me into this dad? I'm going to hit him my daddy issues again, even though we've made peace multiple times. Sorry, Stone, you're hallucinating. Nightwing then yells out, what are you doing to him? I need to hotwire your friend. This is going to hurt, but Vertigo should do the trick. Oh, we're bringing back Vertigo and an explosion. So he essentially just blew everything up. Up. And I want to reverse back to their normal state, right, where Cyborg's like, What the hell? I knew it was not the truth. Some of it wished some of me wished it was. <coughs> Damn Starros. Did I hurt you, Richard? Maybe a light singe. What is Lex Luthor doing here? He saved us. Hold. Where is Detective Chimp? And there's an earthquake. Great. Now we have earthquakes to worry about. Oh, too? We need to move. I don't take orders from you. It's not the earthquake. The ground is shifting. Breathing. The whole valley is a giant Storo. You know, that does kind of make sense when you think about it for like more than eight seconds that maybe this is more than a more of a more of a proposal plan. So they make the run for it. And they ask, wait, where's Chimp? And, and Detective Chimp is still trapped in his mind. Wait, I could really go for a drink. It's not real, Chimp. I feel like I should have stayed, just stayed in the bar with you, buddy. The things I've seen since I took on the sword. It's been hard, real hard. You could stay, put some tunes on the jukebox, throw a few back. I just wait for the end. You put it that, it that way. Poor me, and <laughs> Nightwing wakes him up, and Detective Chimp is mad. What? No! No! How did you catch to us? Did you follow us across the valley? No, I took my path, which, if you had followed me, would have been safer for everyone. But I have our transportation. I found the pieces in the Arkham Wastelands. They were easy to manipulate it, into what I needed. I crescent her. Lana. I name her Lana off the backs and manipulation of the Metal Men. And, and once again, they're idiots. Once again, the League are more idiotic than ever because they refuse to trust him with Cyborg say, not a chance. Cyborg's right. I don't care if you helped us. I'm not going anywhere with you, Lex. Again, with this foolishness. We don't have a choice, hot girl. I, let, I tried to lead and we head, head first into a literal nightmare. If we're going to save Martian Manhunter and free the Legion of Doom from the Mindhunter and the Perpetuous Omega Knight, we follow Lex. So, yeah, they take him the unfortunate route, and Cyborg just threatens Luthor. Listen up, if you ever mess with my tech again, I'll make sure your scar is on both your sides of your face. I promise you that. It's hard to be a pacifist on a word like this, isn't it, Cyborg? You okay, champ? It wasn't real. Whatever you saw, horror you saw, it wasn't. Why couldn't you just leave me? Hey, can you even tell the difference between the ni that nightmare and this one? At least in there, the only friend I ever had was still alive. 
Chimp, you have friends. I don't want other friends. I've seen too many friends killed, imprisoned, or hurt. And I'm done making friends. And look at us, so desperate that we play team up with Lex Luthor to save the Legion of Doom? What kind of heroes are we? Too stupid to see that our whole lives are gone, the odds are stacked against us, and we're not coming back from this one. We're done. Ah, he's embraced the to deal philosophy. Cyborg tries to reassure him, but we have we come back from a lot of bad things, Chimp. Nothing takes down the Justice League. Like, yeah, nothing takes down the Justice League, except if we use mind manipulation techniques on our own members. In which case, that will lead to a gigantic satellite being built, old Batman going paranoia with delusions of Grigir, or the Justice League forced to disband after, their inders, after a treacherous incident called a well, Crisis of Conscience, hence leading to a massive event called Infinite Crisis that will restore the multiverse and almost, almost kill us in the process. Yes. Champ just says, Don't you get it, Cyborg? We're not the Justice League. We're the Suicide Squad. No. Yeah, they kind of don't deny it. Where, where Starfire reassures herself, say, then it will be a good death. If this is our last time together, I will go down fighting, Corey. Hey, Richard, we're at war. We need to do everything we can to help the Justice League. Lex, where are we headed? Because of your reckless endeavor, we're behind schedule and the tides ahead are dark. No matter where the journey takes us, there are no more easy paths. You can feel the energy of the, in this place. The Batman who lasts his power and control over our world continues to grow. He's always a few steps ahead. Once we free the Legion of Doom, I will get close enough to kill Perpetua myself. But first, we must face Brimstone Bay. Our point of no return. So, yeah, we see the Legion of Doom being continuously tortured and being used for power and for basically being fuel. You have a plan, Lex? Of course. You, we don't go in with power. We must act our thieves in the night. And, and Hot Girl goes crazy. See? I, I can feel Martian Manhunter is near. I need to go to him first. No, that could jeopardize everything. We must act before now before Perpetua's throne moves again. John needs me. The world has bigger concerns than you being in love. And she punches him square in his scarred face. Once Martian Manhunter is free, he can help us against the Omega Knight. Get to the throne and be ready. Damn it, we have to catch up to her. No, she's right. Finally, someone else understands. Being here always comes with costs. I'm coming, John. Don't worry, I won't say I told you so. Oh. Because you'll all be dead. It's okay, Chimp. And get it. Stay with Common and keep watch. Hako? Kendra? Uh, and the team rushes ahead. Starfire, Cyborg, run interference with the monsters. Jean, what have they done to you? Nightwing, come with me. Why? Because I need someone who understands how to work in the shadows. Oops. No! Perpetuous Omega and I already knew where we were. There are no more shadows left to hide in. We're doomed! Doomed! How... How did the Omega Knight... Because of you, my dear Hawker. Jean keeps, keeps him from... His guilt keeps him from fighting back. But you were the first to, and the foremost in his thoughts. Made it easy to access your connection and call you here. So you can watch your friends die. And the issue ends with the Omega Knight killing everybody! Well, that was a quick and endless point. So, <laughs> this whole mission was a suicide mission. Gotcha. So, yeah, the, uh, so my, the Mind Hunter has defeated the heroes. And, oh, no, they're all dead. It's not like they show up in other tie-ins and part of the plot uh, later down the road, which makes their deaths completely superfluous. And also reveals that they're not dead in the next Justice League issue when it comes out. Because this is a five-part series. Wait. So, yeah, that was Justice League 55. Wait. Yeah, Justice League 55. Right. It was uh, not a short, short run compared to the comics I have talked about. I get that. But it was still a fun, entertaining read, and I enjoyed reading it. The artwork is, once again, great. And <laughs> we get some cool character moment regarding Detective Chimp. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure we're going to learn the horrors of what happened that leads into this nihilistic outlook on everything. 
Okay. And once again, I do like the enjoyment of seeing, seeing, um, <clears throat> seeing you know, Starfire and Nightwing's friendship girl, uh, interaction because they're an awesome couple. Well, and I hope they get back together in the future. If that does, if that, if they do that, I mean, like they don't have the guy who likes to force force feed agendas, so uh, maybe. They, and Hot Girl and her uh, love for John Jones is. Still, I'm trying to get used to that. Like, so wait, they're dating? Are they in a relationship? If, like, I, I don't know that. In fact, I never actually imagined it. So, yeah. <laughs> Fun read. But this was my thoughts on Justice League 55, aka Doom Metal Part 3. This was Neo Reality Entertainment. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and donate. Stay tuned for more. And I'll see y'all next time for the Robin King. <laughs>